Hey, this is Nick from Blaze TV, and I am sitting here at the South by Southwest. It is Saturday, almost the last day of the event, and I am sitting with Eugene from Autolux. Nice to have you here, man. Thanks for having me. You guys have played a number of shows out here. What's been the best show you guys have played out here so far, do you think? Well, it's, it's hard to tell because it's really hectic in general. Totally. It's one of those things where you, you just throw your gear up on stage and play. Right. And it's really hard to get a gauge yeah. of how the show is because it's guerrilla style. Yeah, all the crowd response has been good all great. around. Great. Really great. I can, we were happy with that. Future Perfect, amazing album. Thank you. Absolutely amazing. I talked to you earlier and you said you guys are, are starting on, on production of the next album, is that right? We already have. Okay. We're in the middle of it. If you could describe it yourself, what would you say the album feels like? It feels like a natural progression. Yeah. After we've spent that much time in between records. Yeah. And we've all grown in our own ways. Right. Musically. And I feel like it's just going to be a, for me personally, I'm probably speaking for the other band members as well, just a, a better version of what we were trying to do on the first album. How did you guys get together? How did that whole thing take place? We were just all friends. Yeah. Based on being in bands yeah. before. Um, this is really my first band. I've been friends with Carla for a long time. Right. We scored a music for a play. Yeah. It's called Accidental Death of an Anarchist. It's a Dario faux play, and uh, that's we did music, live music for the play. That was the first thing we ever collaborated on together. Gotcha. And then shortly after that, Rod and Greg, after his band disintegrated, gotcha. and that's how we started. If you were to go back and say, all right, as a musician like these maybe this one artist or, or two artists is kind of a seminal artist like that influenced me and like my style and like wanting to be a musician who would you say that would be for you the person that really blew my mind when I was younger was Hendrix and his records because I, I played guitar before I was in this band yeah. I was a guitar player it's his level of virtuosity and the way he played but still being able to make it really tasteful and the way he wrote songs and the way he used feedback and sound textures, I think, was still ahead of its time. I agree. Well, that's one of the things I think is really great about uh, Auto Lux is the, is the fact that you can kind of sense that that guitar-mindedness in your playing a lot as well, because it seems as though like you guys were able to like hold this really steady foundation with, with having a guitar and a bass, but it, but it's like it's blended so well that sometimes you don't know if it's guitar or bass, what's going on, you know what I mean? It's, it's very cool. I dig it. That's the desired effect. That's what I try to do on bass, actually, is I try to approach it, the, if Hendrix played bass, how he would play it. And I know that sounds like a tall order, but at least just mentally right. going into it. Well, I would say that you're uh, definitely on the right track, for sure. Yeah.